My name is Ashley Tate and I've been a public safety dispatcher for St. Louis County Police for over three years. I walk in uh, here about six o'clock and then I check to see what position I'm in. Um, today it looks like I'm on radio relief so I'll do part of it on the phone and I'll be relieving everybody on the radios for their breaks. Every shift starts with roll call and we gather together to see what happened the night before, if there are any events going on today that we need to be aware of. Uh, persons is going up, there's a homicide up in Northwoods. Uh, persons is gonna go up and handle that. Um, the original call we received, and the, this, uh, this is a little lesson for call takers, original call they got was an open 911 and some noise in the background it ended up being the victim moaning in the background. They rapid SOS'd it, they were able to find, uh, eventually find the victim. So make sure you're, you're, you're listening when you, uh, when you get an open 911. All right, very good. 911, St. Louis County, what's the location of your emergency? We have 12 hour shifts. I am on the day shift, so that is 6.20 a.m. to 6.20 p.m. And like I said, I'm on radio relief. So today I start off on the phones and then I relieve the radios. On the phones, you get a lot of different types of information calls and serious calls. So it could be, I need to speak to someone in the jail or police records, or it could be as serious as a robbery or a domestic disturbance. So you never know what you're getting when the phone beeps, but you just have to be prepared for anything. So for that particular call, I had to transfer to EMS. A male fell and was injured. The most important thing was to get the location, but the caller was very frantic and did not want to answer any questions. The most important thing is to keep the caller on the line, keep asking those questions until help arrives. Down 911, is everything okay? I was accidental. All right, you have a good day. Most of our calls are not even emergencies. They end up being 911 hangups, so people butt dialing on their cell phone or they hit their iPhone too many times, or you have kids occasionally playing on the phone, so we have to call them back and just make sure everything's okay. A little bit about myself, I was born and raised in St. Louis. I have a four-year-old daughter, and we like to garden on our off days, or my off days. <laughs> and a good thing about the job is we get three weeks vacation time after a year and plenty of sick days if my daughter gets sick. We also have the opportunity for overtime if we need a little bit of extra money. This is a dual position where I'm doing radio reliefs. There are three dual positions on the floor and there are also dual positions in the supervisor pods. And that means that they can listen to the phones and the radios at the same time. Um, on this side of the room are the radios and they're about one, two, three, four, six to seven radios for all of St. Louis County and the municipalities that we dispatch for. There are also phones on that side, so those will be all of the 911 calls and the police information. This is the supervisor pod. So like I said, they have dual positions so they can listen in on the radio side and supervise the phones as well. And they can also take phone calls. Out here we have our bathrooms, our gym, and our break room or the kitchen. We have our two refrigerators, we have a oven and stove, microwaves, we can wash our dishes. Um, we also have TVs so we can watch TV on our break. Uh, behind you are the vending machine. Then we also have the patio. Some people come out here for their break. They can eat their lunch when it's nicer, or they can take the trails and walk outside. And then we also have like a barbecue pit. If they want to barbecue sometimes for the 4th of July, Pat will come outside and barbecue. Or for Thanksgiving, he comes out and smokes his turkey. So we have like potlucks, so we, you don't have to always bring your food. <laughs> The nice thing about here is we are located in a park, so you can go take a walk down the trails. I think there is a nice uh, playground over there if you can bring your kids or if your kids wanna come up and visit you while you're at work. Um, then you also get to see like 
cool little animals. Sometimes there's deer. Uh, I've seen cats and deer and like different birds. If you're a bird watcher, you can go out and enjoy the scenery. Over here is the quiet room. You have two very comfortable chairs. If you have a stressful situation that you need to just get a break from, away from everything, you can come in here or in your breaks if you want to take a quick nap. You can also come in here and sit down. There's a small library that we share books. You can put a book down there and read it while you're in between time on the phones and the radio. So we take a lot of phone calls, some days more than others. Um, you could take 50 calls a day or on the busier days, you can take over 200 calls. Dispatching can be stressful, but you just have to learn how to manage your stress here. We have lots of coworkers working at the same time and supervisors to assist you when things get stressful. And then we have plenty of outlets to use. If you need a break, you can go into the quiet room or you can go to the gym. And then like I said earlier, there's a park, you can walk around the park as well. in St. Louis County, location of the emergency. This is a dual position. It has both the radios and the phones. This is our CAD system. So you can see this on all computers. It includes the officers that are available and the officers that are out on calls. And you can also see the new calls coming in when we get a 911 call routed. This is the screen that pops up and you just insert the information into each line. This is our phone system. So you can call out using the dial pad or you can use your mouse. We can also transfer to different agencies. So this is our shot spotter and it triangulates gunshots within a certain area. We also have our radio and you can select any radio in St. Louis County. Then over here is my admin computer and that includes my other resources that I may use throughout the day, which includes Google Maps. This is Rapid SOS. We use this program to figure out locations of people who use smartphones. We can only use it for people that call 911. Our last program is Avail Web, and it is for our body-worn cameras that the officers wear and that are on their vehicles. You can see where they are, what type of calls they are on using this program. A great thing about communications is the opportunity for advancement. So you have PSD 2 and 3 after PSD 1 and then the opportunity to become a CAD specialist or a deputy director. Being a dispatcher is meaningful to me because I get to help people every day and even though I can't see the outcome of every situation, I just feel better about it because I help them get the services that they need. Looks like it's time to go. Good night. Good night. 12 hours is a very long day, but it was worth it helping multiple people in the county. Back again tomorrow. <laughs>